Hi, I'm Kevin Key, and I'm lucky enough to be the chair of the Scientific Program Committee for the Australian Pain Society. Every year, we spend a lot of time putting together one of the fantastic meetings that many of you will have attended, and we ask the membership to send submissions for topical sessions. We're always asked, how can I get, uh, how can I make my, my topical session more competitive? What makes a good topical session? How can I make my proposal innovative? Do the sessions have to be multidisciplinary? How does the committee evaluate the application? So I've asked members of the Scientific Programme Committee located all across Australia to give answers to those questions and hopefully that will help you um, to put together a, a submission for our upcoming meeting in Melbourne. Good? Nah. Let's go for great. A great topical session brings together people from different perspectives to provide their expertise on a topic that is timely, controversial, or of high importance, and pairs it with a clinical so what. It typically involves new research or a new clinical perspective with clear descriptions of both what the speakers will discuss and the learning objectives of the session so that people can clearly decide if this session is for them. Your proposal is innovative if it challenges the norm, if it's a little unusual, perhaps a little bit controversial. It uses perhaps a different method to solve an old problem, or maybe it often offers a new solution. The APS encourages multidisciplinary approaches Topical session that mix presenters from both scientific and clinical backgrounds are highly regarded since this encourages discussion of both uh, scientific discoveries as well as clinical aspects and practical implications of the topic. So the process to evaluate topical sessions is a rigorous but fair process. Each member of the SBC will review every application. Applications are then rated out of 10, considering clarity, evidence base, currency, whether they're coming from multiple institutions and diverse perspectives, such as those from a multidisciplinary team. We then meet and discuss the high scoring submissions and determine how well they complement the rest of the programme. Applications may get rejected for a number of reasons. It could be that your application does not present a team of speakers from varying institutions, different disciplines, as well as speakers that demonstrate a range of experiences and expertise. Lastly, applications may get rejected based on the topic itself. So put your thinking caps on and pitch some interesting ideas that can be interactive and that are relevant for the pain community. So, now you know how to do it. We look forward to receiving your proposals for this year's meeting in Melbourne. Bye.